we have a good friend of the site that likes to antagonize me about explaining things in more depth, so this is for him. Uh, I was over on uh, Twitter today, I've been doing a lot of that lately, and basically uh, we had this spike higher uh, driven by the resignation or the announcement of resignation of uh, Ber Berlusconi by Napolitano, and uh, that brought EURUSD up to a uh, considerable level, level considering where it was and, and the events that have basically preceded this up until this point. Uh, we're in what most people view as a nonsensical market because it's just been heavily driven by rumors back and forth, back and forth all week. Past seven days we've hit this level up here probably about eight times now uh, and here we are again. So um, basically what uh, I was explaining was this initial drive in, um, in the spike moving higher and where it was going to actually turn around and things like that. So. Um, just uh, in terms of these, we've got a couple different reference levels that can get used on a regular basis. So uh, the first of which is this move right here. Um, and on the initial spike leading up here, we usually see this base out here uh, right on 23%, okay, a Fibonacci scale. Now, I only use Fibonacci scales. I'm, I'm always very um, careful to stress the difference between mechanics and theory. Fibonacci is theoretical. Um, just because it's there doesn't mean it's going to stick and hold. Um, I've seen many people that just marry themselves to fib levels and uh, they don't do too well sometimes. Okay, so uh, you have to really understand the background, the context of what you're trading here. Okay, for instance, when this first got announced, I mean, me personally, I didn't have a very high, strong conviction that this, that price is just going to head up another 40 pips or so, okay? I just, I wasn't sold on that, okay? Um, now, uh, in terms of yielding a reaction, though, and actually going after this and even testing the waters in the first place, uh, usually after your first drive, okay? Because see, we've got buying, 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 buying. And your first pullback, your first sell-off, if anything, uh, came in right about here, and it only came down about, um, probably about 11 pips or something like that, okay? Um, we start looking back here. We're looking for potential uh, points of support, okay? and they do line up with 23%. Now on the initial drive, 23% <clears throat> usually holds integrity, okay? Uh, but it doesn't always stick, okay? So for instance, in a move like this, um, I'll see many times, this high will get breached by just a very small amount and then price will just come barreling back down and filling this buying gap, okay? Um, so whether or not this is going to continue and uh, have some longevity to it is, um, that's, that's an entirely different story, okay? But in my opinion, always go for more, keep your risk reward as favorable uh, to you as possible, okay? Um, ride it out, see what you can get out of it, okay? Uh, if, if, if you're unsure and you've got a risk-free trade at that point, okay? If you are quick enough, because this is a very quick move, this happened in literally two minutes to grab this thing at the base here, um, you know, hang on to it. And again, it's all going to vary on the context. You know, we've seen a lot of bond auctions happen and things like that where price will spike just like this, bounce off the 23% area, come higher, and then again, it's just going to fade. So just be conscientious of the fact that that is a possibility, okay? Uh, so then we came back up here into our spike base area. Um, price started to fade pretty aggressively, okay? We came back down uh, into this light deal area, um, and then... Um, came back up a little bit more, okay? And we've got sort of a cone shape happening at the top here. My general rule of thumb is when you get an aggressive um, spike lower like this, okay, or retracement, excuse me, uh, and it doesn't break the base over here, um, you gotta look a lot deeper, okay? And if you wanna use FIBS as a guide on this, and again, this is just theoretical and it doesn't happen perfectly all the time, you usually end up somewhere around 38%, uh, which happened over here. But more importantly, uh, when you're talking about this is to take note of this area over here. Okay, we have renewed buying pressure over here. Okay, after our first um, retracement, okay, we've got more buyers coming in over here. All right, so the likelihood that they're still going to be there when price comes back down and revisits it is pretty darn good. Okay, so in this general area, okay, where the, the bulk of this buying began, uh, you're likely to find more of that activity, okay? And this is very similar to other concepts that we talked about on this site, okay? In an accelerated environment like that, something like this happens fairly quickly, okay? So um, you just want to be aware of any areas where price starts to block up like that, okay? And then you end up like a fish out of water, okay? Flopping around a little bit. This double bottom here isn't too hard to find. Um, one good thing about our recent environment is there's examples of these types of spikes 
pretty much all over your charts and they all look different and they all have different characteristics and so on and so forth but um, there's a lot of different examples of these uh, if you just flip back on a 5 15 minute chart or whatever um, you can start to really type a, uh, excuse me uh, see or uh, get a general meter or feel for uh, the different types of things that happen particularly this move right here uh, when this base doesn't get breached um, how much lower you're going to go because you don't want to be buying into this prematurely and getting scared and closing out for um, you know either break even or nothing basically so just be aware of that um, and then uh, targets on this 79% uh, from this high to this low okay three quarter pull zone right about here uh, if it's going to react it's usually going to react around that general area okay and um, as you can see here we actually we came pretty much made a double high here uh, came back down so um, now we're starting to fade okay we got some covering going on and things like that so um, that's basically it. that's sort of the general gist again uh, the most important thing out of all this is just understand the context or more importantly how the market reacts to these different types of events that are happening uh, something like this today it's not a common occurrence um, somebody resigns like this okay so every situation is unique and it doesn't necessarily replicate the future all the time but price action can show characteristics of doing that um, and again, there's just there's ways to protect yourself and sort of gauge these movements as they happen using the things that I just described. So um, that's about it. Thanks very much, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.